okay uh this is our new topic unit uh unit uh, eight eight uh unit yes unit eight uh the topic is shape and uh shape means <coughs> sorry a collection of something yes collection of something in proper manner okay uh, not only collection it is in proper manner we say one set of shoes one set of socks one set of geometrical box uh, uh one set of classics books is it right? one set of books of classics then proper set proper collection that means if we say one set of books of class 6 then there will be different subjects not only subjects there, uh, there are many publications and uh, if we make one proper collection that becomes set that means if uh, you are studying janak's uh, janak uh, education is yes? uh, ministry of education science and technology uh, curriculum development center our book is published by government of nepal as yes? then in class 6 if we collect a set of one uh, book of math book that is published by okay let's say that is uh, another that bhigoti or that may be uh, ratna then that book does not match to us then that doesn't become set therefore set means collection of uh, something in proper manner okay look here what can you see in the picture here are fruits fruits yes fruits what are the yes here is one question what are they yes. we can say uh, here is apple yeah. apple Here is grape. Grape. I think it is avocado. Yes. Yeah. This one is avocado. Uh, here is orange. Here is orange, and uh, here is lemon. This is lemon. This is lemon. Avocado, and here is one peach also. I think. Where is that peach? I think. Uh, uh peach is not here i think is this peach no yes okay and, okay okay let's consider this is peach okay then okay, okay. these all are fruits these all are fruits some are most of the fruits are inside the basket and few are outside the basket okay this inside and outside concept will be studied in later on okay uh, here are fruits these are fruits then this is a set of fruits look here what are the, what are there these are fruits what are they they are apple grapes avocado orange lemon peach etc and this is collection of fruits that means it is a set of fruit okay. similarly what can you know, what can you see uh, in the picture now there is a even number okay, look here what types of numbers are there inside the circle there is an off is missing here okay what types of Numbers are there. Yeah, here is one mistake. Not in circle. It is in rectangle. Okay. It is in rectangle. Uh, and uh, two is an even number. Two is an even number. 
and you know, refer is the end even number. I think I should correct this first. Yes. Okay. I should correct this. What types of and here not circle square. Uh, square okay then then two is an even number four is an even number six is an even number what are these These all are even number then in another way this is a set of even numbers below it. I say this is a set of even numbers below it. Now look at your book. Look at your book. In your book, there is circle two, four, six. Yes. And yes, uh, at the bottom line, there is in uh, example B. The, these all are even numbers less than seven is given. Yes. 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 Less than seven or less than eight. Do you think any difference? Do you think any difference or not? Yes, sir. But um, there is seven and eight, but nothing will happen. Yes, nothing. Because even numbers below eight also, up to six. Even number uh, below six also, also uh, up to six, yes? Therefore, therefore, uh, there is no difference. And this is also an, another example of set. Now, let's see another example. What types of set is represented by the place written inside the boundary? Look here. Here is one green boundary. And here are written different names. Kathmandu, Delhi, Thimpu, Islamabad, Dhaka, Colombo, Malay, Kabul. Yes. Then. What type of set is represented by the place? These all are place name written inside the boundary. One, Kathmandu is the capital of Nepal. Kathmandu is yes. Delhi. Yes, sir. Delhi is the capital of India. Thimpu is the capital of Bhutan. Islamabad is the capital of Pakistan. Dhaka is the capital of Bangladesh. Uh, Male is the capital of Maldives. Colombo is the capital of Sri Lanka. And capital of oh. Afghanistan. Okay. These all are capital cities of Sark countries. Do you understand Sark countries? Yes? yes. yes. All yes. are the capital yes. cities yes. of Sark countries. Then what is yes. this? Then? Yes. This is yes. the of capital city yes. of Sark countries. All are capital cities of Sark countries. Okay. Then now look at your book. Look at your book. Uh, page number uh, fifty-one. Exercise. Yes. Yeah. Right, page number 51. Did you get it? Yes. Yes. In the given sets, 1, 15. Question number 1 to 15, okay? Uh, in 51, up to 13 uh, is given, and in uh, page number 52, 14 and 15 are given. What is asked here? Mark cross against the odd one. That means which does not match to the collection. 
which does not match to the collection to that we should cross understood it does not match okay uh, one with all of you uh, go through the questions one two three four five six like up to ten okay. you you have uh, two minutes okay you have two minutes to find out in the given collection which is odd which does not match to the given collection Can you cross the book? Yes, in the book you find which is uh, odd one. For example, in question number one, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Shravan, Friday, Saturday. Saturday. Yes, yes. It is not proper set. It is one uh, days in a week. But here is one Shravan month. Shravan is extra year, yes. Month. Then you cross Shravan, but don't cross in in book. You write down in copy at first yes. Then you circle Shravan or uh, uh, write down the odd odd hey. Shravan. Our Up to where we can finish in in the class? Yes. So oh, we need to do in copy. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, Okay, uh, let's move forward then. Okay, uh, you do this all as homework. Uh, uh, among these questions, do you feel any question uh, to, uh, to become difficult to you? No, sir. No, yes. Uh, look at question number 13 then. Look at question number 13. In question number 13, uh, you are given one, one, two, three, four, four times. In one, 6.30, in another, 7.30, in another, 10, and uh, in another, last one, 12.30. Which doesn't match? 10. 10 does not match, yes? Because in all others, there is half past. Half past, yes? In third one, there is no half past. It is exact 10 o'clock. Don't see the shape of the uh, clock, okay? Don't see the shape of the clock. If you see the shape of the clock, you will get confused. Here is given time, okay? You see only time factor. Okay, understood? Yes, sir. Okay, now look at uh, page number 52, question number 16. Question number 16. Okay, once you uh, go to thoroughly uh, through the question, all of you. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Question number 16, what is asked? Mark for the... Yes. Mark for the well-defined collection, yes. Well-defined collection and cross for the non-well-defined collection. Look here. A, a collection of galls having long hair. Is it clearly defined or not clearly defined? A collection of galls having long hair. Okay, if you consider uh, galls in your class, galls, how can you uh, make one collection of gauze with long hair. How can you uh, find? How can you make? For example, look here. Uh, if if one girl has hair this much long, you say this is long or short. How can you say short? Short or long? I see it. How can you say this year is long or short? Getting confused, yes? Yes. That is not true. Okay, okay. Then I'll make you clear by another. Okay, look here. Do you think this line is long or short? I think long. Yeah. Okay. Do you think this line is long or short? Long. 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 Another student, okay. Samata said long. Another student, okay. Go ahead. Long. Long. Another student. Long. Long, another? Long. Long, Isan, okay, another? Long. Okay, Kiran Rawal, long, another? Long. Rosal Krishna, okay, long, another? Long. Pranita, long. All of you say long, yes? Okay. Binam, binam is funny long one, right? Yes, sir. Janak. Long, sir. Long, okay. Now. Sir. Now, first line is A, and second line is B. B. You all have said this line A is long. Yes? Yes. yes now say, now uh, all of you say line A is long or short? Short. Short. In front of B1. Yes. Therefore, yes, now, yes, yeah, yes. By the word long only, it is not well defined, okay? Long. By the word only long, it is not well defined. Which length is considered long? Which length is considered short? What is the uh, distance? What is the measurement? It, it is not clear about the measurement. Only it is said only having measure. long ear. Understood? Having long hair, only it is said having long hair. That means uh, exact measurement is not uh, defined here. Therefore, this is not well defined sentence. Question number 16A. Understood? Understood or not? Yes, sir. Collection of girls having long hair. Cross. 
how much centimeter is long how much centimeter is short it is not defined here therefore by the word only long it is not clear okay therefore this is not well defined sentence we should cross this uh, sentence okay now qu next question b a group of teachers teaching in grade 6 okay in your class okay Okay. Of teachers teaching in grade six, mm -hmm. it is well defined or not well defined? Yes, I think yes. well defined. Well defined because you can say the name of the teacher, isn't it? Yes. Sir. You can say the name of the teacher. Therefore, it is well defined because in grade six it is already given here. In grade six means. Uh, uh, we are studying in Mahendra Santi in grade 6 of Mahendra Santi. Grade 6 means in our school, okay? Wherever we study, uh, that is Okay, this is well defined. Okay, question C. A group of teachers who teach in shrill voice. Shrill voice means... A group of teachers who teach in shrill voice. That means soft voice. That means I soft don't voice. I don't think this is a well defined. It is well defined or not? Is it well defined? Sir, I don't think so. that is a well defined. Okay. Any adjectives, okay? Any adjectives which is uh, given in the sentence, that makes the sentence uh, not well defined. Long, short, uh, bright, beautiful, good, like this, yes? Yes. Not there is no proper measurement for these terms. If you say beautiful, then to what parameter to say beautiful? If you say bright, to what intensity of light you say bright? If you say dark, to what extent of the darkness you say dark? There is no any measurement, exact measurement technique. Therefore, uh, these are abstract and for these terms, they become uh, not well defined, okay? Not well defined. But in shrill voice, shrill O is also uh, adjective. That means uh, this is, uh, there is no exact measurement to measure the uh, voice level uh, in the class and to which sound you say shrill, to which sound you say soft, to which sound you say hard. It depends upon your hearing uh, capacity or uh, it depends upon your uh, thought. Understood? To the first bench students, same voice becomes shrill. To the last bench students, same voice becomes soft. Isn't it? Therefore, this sentence also is not well defined. Did you get students? Question C? Yes, yes. Okay. Then question D. A group of students who play volleyball in your school a group of students who play volleyball in your school yes that is a well defined what do you think this is uh, well defined or not well defined well defined well defined yes in your school means all the students don't play volleyball only selected students play volleyball. You can see, yes. Therefore, this is well-defined 
sentence okay okay then students yes sir till now till now do you have any questions or not sir no yes okay now uh, we cross right cross right look here now to the sheet we describe by different method to the sheet we describe by different method look at your book page number 52 notation of sheet and methods of describing to sheet so we uh, give notation or symbol how do we symbolize any set that means generally set is uh, symbolized by alphabet english alphabet capitalized english alphabet in capital form uh we should not write in small letter in capital letter we uh, symbolize for example here is one example here is an example of collection of fruits look here banana mango apple grapes orange then these all are fruits fruits f r o u f r u i t s fruits and from uh, fruits i write i wrote here f capital f then then capital f is the set of fruits therefore f is notation of the f is notation of uh, fruit notation of set so f is the name of the fruit sorry what Yeah, but I think the name of it. What is it? What is the name of what is? Okay, F1 is the name of it. No. Yes, yes. Yaf is the name of shit. Then uh, name and notation same. Okay. Then uh, this is name of the shit. Then while describing. while describing that means one person to next person how do we clarify about the set there are three methods one is description method in method we describe we describe that is in above uh, example set of fruits set of fruits this is description method and list listing method second method is listing method that means we make the list of the fruit this is listing in the above example yaf this is the listing method because we we made list of the fruits banana mango apple grapes orange this set builder method this set builder method is a little bit different uh, let's see uh, next slide look here in description method in this d d e d refers to the days days of a week days seven days of a week we wrote in seven we described here Or this method is description method. If we write by the another method, the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, there is the list of seven days of a week. This is listing method. Lastly, state builder method means we we have to write inside this curly bracket 
और मिडल बी इज इक्वल्स यक्स टच दैट यक्स इज अ डे ऑफ अ वीक दिस सेट बिल्डर मेथड डिस्क्रिप्शन मेथड इन साइड कॉर्ड ब्राकेट वी डिस्क्राइब द सेट सेवेन डेज ऑफ अ वीक इन सेकेंड इन सेकेंड दैट इज लिस्टिंग मेथड दैट मीन्स वी मेक लिस्ट ऑफ द डेज इन अ वीक इन साइड कॉर्डली ब्राकेट संडे मंडे ट्यूजडे वेनेसडे फर्स्टडे फ्राइडे एंड सैटरडे ब्राकेट क्लोज लिस्टिंग मेथड एंड लास्ट वन इज सेट बिल्डर मेथड और शुड बी इन साइड कॉर्डी ब्राकेट ओके डी इज इक्वल्स यक्स सच दैट दिस टू डॉट्स मीन सच दैट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ यक्स यक्स इज अ डे ऑफ अ वीक यक्स मीन्स संडे यक्स मीन्स मंडे यक्स मीन्स ट्यूजडे यक्स मीन्स वेनेसडे यक्स मीन्स फर्स्ट डे फ्राइडे सैटरडे दैट मीन्स यक्स इज अ डे ऑफ अ वीक एक एग्जाम्पल 